I um, was proud of our team, uh, especially second half. Uh, I didn't think uh, first half we had much energy on the defensive end. I thought Sam Houston did about what they wanted to do. And um, at halftime, really, the, the biggest adjustment was made. But this gentleman down here at the end, when he told our guys we had to start talking more. Um, I have a theory I tell these guys all the time. When they start coaching themselves, it's a lot more effective than when I do because they listen to each other better. And uh, I thought the second half, the defense was just simply we, our awareness was better. We were communicating better, and, and our effort was better. Um, it was unfortunate. We got it to two, I think, four different times and had a couple of bad turnovers. Uh, I think one time we shot the ball, went about halfway down and, and came out. And um, you know, When you get down that far, your margin of error is very thin, and you, you just simply can't uh, afford to make too many mis mistakes. But um, I was proud of our effort. Uh, I'm proud of the fact that we got here. Uh, we earned our way here. I know there was some controversy about the very end. But as I told these guys, they didn't back into anything. They earned it. And uh, what I hope is that becomes the staple for Central Arkansas uh, going forward. Well, you know, I kiddingly say uh, I've been at Central Arkansas 52 years. And uh, it's actually been three. Uh, but from where we came from, uh, starting three years ago, in the first two years, we weren't even eligible to be here. Uh, so I, I'm very happy where we're, we have uh, started from to where we're at now. I really am. I'm, I'm excited about the future. Uh, I wish I had this guy on my far right for another year or, or two, um, but we don't. And uh, thank goodness we have this guy next to me, and I think it's a travesty that he wasn't even named to any of the all-conference teams, and I'll just put that out there. I think he's one of the best players in this league, and he gets overlooked because he's kind of mild-mannered. Uh, but I hope that spurs him on and motivates him for the future. But I, I'm happy where we're heading. I think our record is not indicative of the growth of the team. Um, and uh, hopefully that uh, we, we know, now know what it's going to take to get here. I think the uniqueness of Derek Brooks is that he can score in so many different ways, especially offensively. He's, he can hit the three-point shot, but he's really good in isolation. You guys saw some of his his game. I kid him and say, we'll watch him play 20 years from now at the Y and his game will look the exact same way because he's going to shoot those one-legged fade aways and, and um, you'll have to tell me where you live, Brooksy. I'll come and watch you play noon ball. But he's, he's, got that, uh, he's got that unique game where he can just score and, um, and he's brought good leadership. I'm proud of Derek. I've known Derek, uh, I guess, since he was a junior in high school. And so we go way, way back and, and to see where he came from and and what he has done and, and the maturity, that's been uh, a really pleasing as a coach. But he knows I love him. I tell him that all the time. And he's got an advocate in me the rest of his life. Yeah, and to your point, we lost three games this year under five seconds. As I say, it was bad coaching. It wasn't the player's fault. And uh, we had uh, a free throw to win at Nichols. We had a free throw to beat Stephen F. And we had a box out to beat Incarnate Word. And that's just three games. Uh, that, that's not counting some of the others. But I'm excited the leadership of Matthew and Jordan coming back, and we recruited e extremely well. And I'm, I'm really excited for the guys we have coming in. And, uh, you know, I think we've um, kind of established what we want to do. Uh, I, th I think we wound up leading the league in scoring, and we just got to figure out there's another end to this game and uh, work on our defense in the offseason. I think if we do that, we'll be fine. Um, I think, I mean, the main thing was just talking throughout the whole game. I mean, we, we would do it in spurts, and you could see it on the court. That's when we would get stops. And when we didn't, that's when we had confusion, and they were getting open looks. So I think everybody listened to me and listened to coach, listened to each other, and that's when we went on that run. I think it was the fact that we were overlooked and we weren't like supposed to be there. And we just went back to like the first two years of Central Arkansas and how hard we had to fight to turn the program around. And this was like our one moment, so we had nothing to lose. Yeah, we're playing pretty loose. Like, we're supposed to, basketball is supposed to be fun, so that's what we were doing, just having fun. And yeah, we could tell that they were – their coach probably was yelling at them at halftime and all that still. <laughs> they were 15 and all that. But we just came out and, like Derek said, if you're not talking, you're not playing defense. So that was our big step, and we adjusted.